a warm greetings to everyone agriculture makers in mission ibps f welcomes you to this video and in this video we are going to see the central sector schemes and which is the part two of it and in this we are going to see the market intervention scheme and then pm asha scheme and come on let's get into the video we have already seen the two central sector scheme in the previous video and it is the third one which is the market intervention scheme and it is a price support mechanism implemented by the central government if the state government request and it is for the procurement of the perishable and horticultural commodities in the event of fall in market prices yes it is to support the farmers in case of a fall in market price and this market intervention scheme is a alternative of the minimum support price and it covers the commodities which doesn't come under the minimum support price and there is a criteria to implement this scheme if there is a 10% increase in production or 10% decrease in the ruling rate over the previous normal year if this condition is said to exist means and it is the place your market intervention scheme is going to be implemented on the request of the state government and it is implemented only in the particular state which is requested and not all the other states and then its objective is to protect the growers of the horticulture or agriculture commodities from making distress sale in the event of bumper crop during the peak arrival period when there is a fall in price to a very low level and it is a alternative of the msp which i have said before and it covers those commodities which does not come under the msp and as we said before it is implemented on the request of the state government or the union territory administration while willing to share the loss with the central government on a 50 50 basis 50 50 basis means 50% the loss is shared by the central government and 50% by the state government or the union territory in which it is implemented and it is 75 is to 25 in case of the northeastern states that is 75% is shared by your government of india and 25% by the northeastern states and it is the previous market intervention news the cabinet approves the extension of the market intervention scheme for the procurement of apples in jammu and kashmir for the year 2020 and 2021 and we can have a short revision of this market intervention scheme yes it is a price support scheme implemented by the department of agriculture and farmers welfare on the request of the state government and it is applicable only to the particular state government which is requested and it is for the procurement of perishable and horticultural commodities which does not fall under the msp it is implemented when there is at least 10% increase in the production or 10% decrease in the ruling rate over the previous normal year and then it is to protect the farmers from the distress sale in the event of bumper crop and low price and the loss is equally shared between the state and the central government on a 50 50 basis and it is 75 is to 25 in case of your northeastern regions 75 by the central government and 25 by the northeastern states and it's all about the market intervention scheme now we can go into the pm asha scheme yes it is pradhan mantri anadata ai sanrakshan abhiyan and the government has approved a new umbrella scheme that is pradhan mantri anadata ai sanrakshan abhiyan pm asha which will provide minimum support price assurance to the farmers it is giving the assurance of minimum support price to the farmers and the scheme is aimed at ensuring remunerative prices to the farmers for the produce as announced in the union budget for 
Yes, the scheme is launched in the year 2018 and the increase in MSP can improve the farmer's income by strengthening the procurement mechanism in coordination with the state government. And yes, the main aim of this scheme is the assurance of MSP to the farmers and it is launched in the year 2018. Coming to the components of PM ASHA, there are three components in this PM ASHA. Very firstly, it is the Price Support Scheme, PSS. And under this PSS, the Central Nodal Agency will procure pulses, oil seeds and copra with an active role of state governments. And then the FCI and the NAFED will help in implementing the scheme. Remember, it is the FCI and NAFED implementing the scheme. And the procurement expenditure and losses due to the procurement will be borne by the central government as per the norms. And the government will procure 25% of the marketable surplus of the farmers for the eligible crops. And it's all about the PSS. And the next component is Price Deficiency Payment Scheme, PDPS. And under the PDPS, the state will provide the difference between the price prevailing in the Mondays and the MSP. And all the oil seeds are to be covered under this PDPS. Before in the PSS, they have covered pulses and then oil seeds and then copra. But here it is the oil seeds. And this scheme is modeled on the basis of Bhavantar Bhaktan Yojana which has been implemented by the Madhya Pradesh state government as well as Bhavantar Barpa Yojana which is implemented in the Haryana government and it is the basis for this PDPS and there will be no physical procurement of the crops. Only it will be paying the difference amount of the Mandi price and then the MSP. And third it is the pilot of Private Procurement and Stockist Scheme, PPPS and in case of failure of the PSS and the PDPS in certain pilot districts, the PPPS will be tried out and the private agencies will procure the oil seeds in coordination with the government and the selected private agency shall procure the commodity at MSP in the notified markets in the notified period from the registered farmers along with the guidelines of this private procurement and stockist scheme whenever there is a fallen market price below the MSP and whenever it is authorized by the state or the union territory government. We can have a short revision. This PM ASHA scheme provides minimum support price assurance to the farmers and it is launched in the year 2018 and it strengthens the procurement mechanism in coordination with the state government. There are three important components in this PM ASHA. Very firstly it is the price support scheme. The central nodal agencies will procure the pulses, oil seeds and copra along with the state government and FCI and NAFED are the implementing agencies for this scheme and the procurement expenditure and losses will be borne by the central government as per the norms and then the government will procure 25% of the marketable surplus of the farmers for the eligible crops and secondly it is the price deficiency payment system and the state will provide the difference between the price prevailing in the Mandi and the MSP and all oil seeds are to be covered under this PDPS and there is no physical procurement and it is modeled on the basis of Bhavantar Bhaktan Yojana in the Madhya Pradesh and Bhavantar Barpa Yojana in the Haryana government and thirdly it is the pilot of private procurement and stockist scheme and in case if the PSS and PDPS fails this PPPS will be implemented and private agencies will enter into the scheme and procure the oil seeds in coordination with the government. And so the MSP will be assured for those farmers. And with this the PM ASHA scheme ends. 
and i hope the video will be very much useful to you and we will see you again with the part 3 and thank you for all your supports do subscribe our channel by tapping on the bell icon for our next earliest updates see you all again